Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. J. Cole, apologize, man. The Kendrick Lamar. This crazy, man. Hold on. It happened over the weekend. Dreamville. He on stage and he said, look, this shit felt corny, man. I don't feel like this is me. I, I don't know. He apologized. Come on, man. Last week, man, I made a tweet out when he came out with that song, Seven Minute Drill. Might delete later. I came out with this right here. I put this tweet out. I said, this got to be the softest rap beef of all time. Ain't nobody going to get shot, stabbed, or jumped. They just going to wear weird-ass clothes and smile at each other from across the room. Might delete now? Nah, Code, to do that shit now. That's what I said. Had Kobe soft, you know, that little gif. And um, a lot of people liked it. A lot of people did not like it. Um, They called me weird and corny. I'm, I just want black people to die. Look at this shit, man. When did they start? I ain't never heard nobody apologize in a rap beef. Nobody. I ain't never heard this. This is this is new uncharted territory, man. How you gonna what what kid you Lamar saying that song? Most of y'all throw rocks and try to hide your hand. But I promise you, you say his name, you see Candy Man, something like that. And if I step if I gotta step a pussy ass nigga, I'm gonna make it look sexy. Come on, man. That's what this nigga apologized, man. J. Cole. He grown. He 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 feel like this lame, this corny, he should never did it. Man, I woke up this morning, asked my wife. I'm like, yo, I said, you heard about that? I said, J. Cole apologized. No, she said, that's mighty mature. Of him. Get away from me. Get your ass away from me. I said, this is rap beef. Come on, but they grown now. Nobody want to see all this killing. Man, when I made this tweet right here, man, I was not trying to get nobody killed. I'm just saying it's soft. It was soft. The whole rap beef. I'm talking about you got, they wear floral shirts and shit, man. Like, they wear weird clothes. Nah, come on, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. They wear skinny jeans and shit. Drake, Kendrick Lamar, Future, all them. They wear weird-ass clothes, man. And they all friends. So I'm just saying, well, nobody gonna get hurt. And <laughs> this nigga apologizing. He got on stage. This shit, this shit wasn't even a week later. He on stage apologizing, saying he feel corny for doing this. He feel lame. He feel his lame from dissing his homie and all this. You ain't want no smoke, man. You had people defending you, jumping out the window. <coughs> <coughs> Ready to go to war for you. Then you gonna turn on your people like that, J. Cole, Jermaine Cole? Come on, man. I don't know if this a ploy or some kind of thing, some kind of tactic to um, calm the people down to come back out with something else. I don't know, but it is not a good look, man, to apologize. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care how grown you is. I don't care how mature you want to be. How you want to teach the new young generation how to be nice or whatever. Because all these young thugs are killing each other. No, no fuck all that. It's rap beef, nigga. Rap beef. First off, fuck your bitch in the click you claim. You think he came back and said, hey, look, man, I'm sorry about saying fuck your bitch, man. You know, we was in the beef. What, what, what's my man name? No Vaseline. Did he say, uh, no Vaseline. We don't use KY. No, no Vaseline. Raw, ain't yet. Hey, no. Nah. No did it. Y'all know what I'm talking about though, man. Um all these rap beefs, man. I'm I'm seeing I'm looking online. I, what's my man name? <coughs> with the Breakfast Club. Sorry, man. I think I'm coming down with a code or something, yo. Not a not a Jermaine code, not a J code, but a code. Um what's my man name? Charlemagne the guy. He over there he, he praising the apology. Like what kind of agenda they trying to send, man? Y'all know this is rap. Beef. When rap beef, you, you got to go through with it. You got you to fight it out. Win or lose. You came out with this whack ass song, Seven Minute Drill. I don't care what nobody say. It was good penmanship, whatever. Yes, yeah, cool. All that. But in the rap beef, you got to come harder than that. You got to use hard beats. You got to do something, man. You got to say, fuck you in the rap beef. If you don't say fuck you in the rap beef, it ain't a rap beef. You got to, you got to say those words. Nigga, fuck you. I, I do this. You know? He ain't do none of that. And, and oh, might delete later. Um, I heard that was a pretty good album, though. A little thing he had the album. But um, that seven-minute drill, I heard it. It was, uh, it was all right. 
I think he got a song with Daylight. I ain't never seen battle rap dick suck so hard, man. I seen battle rappers, oh yeah, man. J, J. Cole this and J. Cole. Like, y'all niggas don't like J. Cole for real, man. He just put a better rapper on, so now y'all sucking his dick. Punk shit, man. That's what I'm saying. What the hell going on with the world, man? My rap beef need to have some damn somebody getting jumped or something. It ain't got to result in violence all the time, man. But you do got to say fuck you inside of a battle rap. Um, I think Wale then came out. And not Wale, what's my man name? Meek Mills coming out saying something against Wale. I seen that, I'm like, I said, okay, it's a little more aggressive, but y'all niggas at WrestleMania weekend all weekend. Now you gonna wait till Monday and say something, jump him, beat him up? You, you talking about you gonna treat him like a street nigga? This this Meek Mill saying, tweeting about, why everybody tweeting too, man? I made my tweet, man, and a lot of people did not like it, like I said. A lot of people did, though. Yeah, like 50 likes. And maybe 400 dislikes, you gonna get dislikes. But comments were saying, like, look, you weird, nigga. Nobody should get shot and stabbed. No, 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 Shut up, nigga. I said what I said. Um, That's crazy, though, man. I'm looking at this shit. This dude, Jermaine Cole, J. Cole, apologized, man. He got on stage in front of his audience and apologized. He wasn't... Ain't like you was somewhere else and like, man, nah, that shit was corny, man. I, I just, nah, man. Fuck all that, man. Um, I'm sorry. How you gonna say sorry, man? My wife tried to make me seem like I'm, I'm immature. I mean, come on now. We all know, like, yes, as a grown up, as a grown up person that has kids and responsibilities in life and shit. Yes, I understand that. Come on, man. Yeah, relax. You gotta relax. You, you can't apologize. You can't. You, I know right from wrong. I do. I know right from wrong. I know apologies is is necessary sometime in life when shit go down, shit happen. Um, you being a bigger man or being a man in general is, is to apologize. But this rap beef, nigga, you know, you know, apologies and rap beef. There's no crying in baseball. And there was Tom Hanks in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. Nigga, apologies and rap beef? Nigga, Tupac and Biggie like, man. I wish I would apologize. Maybe I'd be alive. Man, fuck out of here, man. But y'all call me the clown. I'm a clown, yo, because I want to see somebody get shot, stabbed, or jumped. And it, and I don't even want it to happen. I've been saying it's not going to happen because these niggas is going to smile at each other. And look at this. Not even 48 hours from me making that tweet. Hold on. Maybe 72 I made that on the 5th, today the 8th. I'm over there telling y'all. Come on, man. Nigga, apologize. We definitely going to be talking about this Friday right here on this channel, man. I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy. Heist man the foe, and I ain't going to apologize. This is a dangerous group, is it? groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.